Gina, we know that storytelling is very important, especially during the interview, even in the cover letter, the, the candidate is telling their story, why they, why they are there, why uh, the, the company needs to hire them, but the story has to be very important. It has to be very like, uh, especially the STAR method, we told them the situation, the task, uh, action and results. So how can job seekers uh, learn that technique and able to tell the story and how they can pick which story to tell to which question? Oh, yeah, that's a very good question. I have a very specific response. Let me start with this. Um, job seekers will hear different methods of storytelling, different acronyms, yes. CAR, PAR, STAR. And I'm, I'm going to introduce in this conversation the one I use, which is SOAR, and they're all very similar. I'm going to explain why I use SOAR. SOAR is what was the situation? What were the obstacles mm -hmm. or challenges within the situation? What were the actions you took? And then what results did you and your team get, right? Here's why I like that one. I like the fact that it introduces the why you're telling the story with the obstacles and challenges. The reason why I veer away from tasks mm -hmm. is it starts to mire us down in like some detail that is less exciting and relevant. Yeah. What we want to do is show how we had to step up or how we had to navigate a problem. So that's why I like SOAR. Now, specifically, how can you build your stories? What you do is you take a well-crafted job description that is your target, yes. and there's a lot of bad job descriptions, right? I mean, yes. really, really lame. They don't really tell you. So you have to be using a good job description. Yes. But what I do for my clients is I create a table, and I put every single job bullet on the left side in its own row. And then yes. on the right side, I am building out S-O-A-R. And for my clients, what I'm doing is I'm writing out a competency-based or behavioral question. Yeah. So if it says this person needs to have, you know, uh, frequent interaction with customers and provide an excellent customer experience, on the other side, we can just flip it into a question. Tell me about a specific time you had to provide an excellent customer experience. Yeah. What was the situation? Why was that? What challenges were there involved? And how did you take action on that? Yeah. Now you can build your story. Just put in bullets. If you yeah. write a big narrative, you're going to get way down in the weeds and you won't be able to remember it. You just need bullets. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. You want to be able to tell these stories if they're not too complex in like three minutes. Yeah. Super complex stories might be five, right? And, and the thing is, you want to try to get in as many stories as you can. Yeah. So you want them to keep asking you more questions. Yeah. And practice makes perfect, right? You can practice those maybe with someone or if it's via Zoom, you know, you can record yourself and you can see how you're answering your handshake, you know, everything. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Those are great tips, Gina. I really enjoyed it. And again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Gina.